I'm so excited about this. You have no idea. Hi, hi, hi. My name is Tony. Welcome if you are new here. I'm so excited to finally hop back into YouTube. I've been doing vlogs very recently, but life's been wild. Great news. We are vlogging Coachella. I'm very excited about it. So we're gonna have some fun vlogs coming up. I thought, I mentioned before, I wanted to do a sit down, get ready with me, kind of like an in-depth makeup tutorial. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while. I've done a few on my TikTok, but those are usually like four minutes to five minutes long. They're still not very long. And YouTube's where it's at when it comes to like long form content in my opinion so i'm happy to be back and i'm happy to just like do my makeup with you guys so today i'm going to show you guys my everyday makeup routine and kind of walk you through what i do i don't even have my eyebrows done and usually before i do any makeup routine video on tiktok my brows are always done but today we're starting from the very very beginning the anastasia brow gel i'm all out i am clean out oh oh we're gonna use has been an absolute game changer for my eyebrows i used to use the brow freeze gel like the little pomade but this is just so much better in my opinion i am re-upping on this during the sephora sale i use this every single day i just brush my brows up i've also recently started doing my brows i used to just fill them in and call it a day but ever since i got this i really started getting into doing my brows more and by doing my brows i mean just like slicking them down and then kind of carving them a little bit, I feel like it kind of works with the rest of my makeup and it just matches the rest of my soft glam everyday look because your brows will not move all day and the applicator is really nice. It has a longer side and a shorter side. You use one side to kind of comb through the product and the other side to kind of like sculpt. Oh, the spoolie side is so gross. But this is also from Anastasia. This is their spoolie and spatula. Sometimes I fill in my brows a little bit, but recently I've actually been liking not filling them in at all. I take the spatula side and I really just like flatten everything down. If you guys are close up, you can see there's kind of product everywhere because I had a lot. Don't worry, I'm going to, we're gonna fix that. This is where the magic happens. You can just take any flat small brush like this and then I take my NARS concealer in the shade Dark One. Um, it's kind of a mess the applicator and i just take a little off like this and this is something that's kind of been a newer addition to my makeup routine in the past couple of months this is what i mean by kind of carving it out i literally just like shape it with a little concealer this was like super intimidating at first because i used to do this to my brows back in the day when i used to be a fan of the anastasia dip brow if you know you know my brows used to look like blocks whenever i would do this but i actually really like the way it looks now with the rest of my makeup and the way i do it so i do top and bottom brow and i kind of just like shape it out like that if that makes sense first sometimes it looks a little wild the rest of my makeup that i put on my face it goes together so 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 well i just do that this brush is so nice and soft. I don't really even focus on my brows being completely the same. I just want them to look related and I'm good. I don't need them to look exactly the same because naturally my brows are not exactly the same. So yeah, I don't even use this NARS concealer for anything else. I literally just use it for my brows. Then I take this Morphe brush, H204, it's just like a kind of fluffier flat brush and then I kind of just brush this out and you really want to make sure you are blending this out because what is that here you just really want to make sure that you are blending this out because that is important all right so some days are more perfect than others but I tend to not care too too much about them or I try not to hyper focus because Oftentimes when I do the rest of my makeup, it works perfectly fine anyways. I think when they're just the only thing that's done in your face, you kind of hyper focus on them. Kind of just like, I've blended out a good amount of it. And then sometimes if I need to, I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil and I kind of just take the pencil side, the brow whiz, and then I fill in if I have any sparse areas or anything like that. But you just have to trust the process. You just have to trust the process. So... The brows are done. They're not perfect today. They usually never are, but that's that's okay because they're still cute and they're going to look good. And I do like the fact that they're not even filled in. These are just my brows. Now for my current primer duo. If you follow me on TikTok, you know this is what I do every single time. Milk Hydro Grip Spray. A lot of you guys have probably heard of the Hydro Grip Primer, which I also really love. I just think this one's very thick and I prefer 
this for an everyday moment. I do think it adds the prettiest glow to my skin. And then we add the Refi primer. It has a little roller on the end. And I didn't really like this at first until I started incorporating it into my everyday. It just started growing on me. And I do think priming my skin does help i used to not prime my skin i used to just kind of go in with my moisturizer which i think is okay sometimes still i just do skincare but i do think when i have longer days and i need my makeup to last i'm always going to go in with some primer i do have a dinner date tonight with my boyfriend 11 10 dinner's at 6 so i do want to make sure my makeup can last okay that's a lot of primer i go in and i rub it in just because the roller can't really get into every single crevice and you want to make sure that primer is everywhere. Okay. We look like a glowing, glowing goddess. Then I like to take my topicals. Teddy loves it as well. I just like to prime my lips with this. So I do a full little combo at the end, but I like to prime my lips just to make sure my lips are hydrated. And you want to let this dry before you go in with anything else. So it's been a second and it's nice and dry it has a little bit of tact it's not as much as the hydro grip but it has it's ready for makeup so let's talk about my base normally i don't wear foundation or skin tints or anything like that on a regular basis but if i do i really like the huda beauty foundation this is in the shade hot fudge it's a foundation stick i'm not gonna be wearing this one today because i do think i want to go for my everyday makeup look and this isn't everyday and if i'm doing a skin tint i like the yummy skin tint from Danessa myrick but for me an everyday makeup routine is bronzer and concealer maybe i'll come back and i'll do like a full glam version oh that'd be fun if i came back and did this but like full glam version I start off with the merit complexion stick this is in the shade cacao and i like to use this to conceal any dark spots that i have they've honestly faded away a good amount shout out wearing sunscreen every single day so i actually haven't been doing this stuff a whole lot but i also really like doing this around my mouth it's just so easy i look insane it's so easy to use which is why i love it i'm just taking a beauty blender and i'm just gonna pat that in and you can use your fingers as well to blend this product in. It's so creamy and so beautiful. I love that complexion stick so much. Now it's time for some bronzer. If I'm using a bronzer, I start off with cream. I'm using one of these. This first one is Milk Makeup. It's in the shade Blitz. And Milk Makeup has the best shade range for bronzers. Especially if you have a deeper skin tone. Look into Milk Bronzers and Contours. They're stunning. And then I've recently gone into this charlotte tilbury cream bronzer this one's in the shade four deep i do wish that they had deeper shades of this but the reason i like this on my skin tone is because it is more of a neutral bronzer the milk makeup one is very warm on my skin tone i'm sure if i went into a different or i use a different shade it'd be different but that's my favorite shade but that one's very warm it's very kind of like has that red warmth to it this one feels like it's a mixture of a bronzer and a contour on me so it has that warmth but it also has that coolness which i really really like because i go on top of my bronzer i layer everything you're going to see in this routine so it's important that like i'm not overdoing it so i'm taking my bronzer brush it's from pat mcgrath i love it and i kind of just pat this on wherever i put my bronzer and i can get pretty messy with this it doesn't really matter because i'm covering it up with concealer and i'll clean it up with my concealer and my powders and stuff but i'm just adding this wherever i would naturally get bronzed from the sun and i kind of just add it all over i love bronzer i love bronzer on me okay, and it's gonna look a little wild before it does it you have to trust the process it's time for some concealer i'm gonna show you guys my go-to concealer trio i use three different concealers recently gotten into the pat mcgrath concealers these are full coverage so again when i circle back and i do like a full glam beat moment this is what we'll use i start with the huda beauty one this is in the shade hazelnut i just like to add this add this here 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 and you're gonna see with the bronzer this is gonna clean it up really 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 easily these are my brightening concealers i go in with hourglass in the shade mocha i love 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 the hourglass concealers and i add that kind of out here this little baby one is in the shade maple it's the lightest one and i just kind of dot it right up here so it kind of creates kind of like a almost like a gradient ombre effect 
So the key here is letting it sit for a second before we blend it out. That allows you to get the most coverage out of it and it's just, I found has been a game changer with my concealer. So I don't blend it out right away. I always leave it for a little bit. So I'm gonna let this sit for maybe like two to three minutes before I blend it out and I will come right back. Sometimes to blend out my concealer, I use my Real Techniques Brightening Concealing Brush, but we're gonna use a Beauty Blender today because I just pulled out a new one. And I mean, there really is no special technique to this. I just blend and I like to take my time when I blend because it really is all in the blend. I do go back and forth between Beauty Blenders and brushes. I feel like if you want more of a full, full, full coverage moment, brushes can be really useful but i do think if you let your concealer sit for a decent amount of time before you blend it out with your beauty blender it will pick up more product than a brush will but you can still get a good amount of coverage as you can see like that like i just love the way a beauty blender does it so efficiently let's talk about my makeup journey what's really funny is before i started doing makeup videos on tiktok i was not a makeup girl I really, I was not that into makeup as an adult. I think in high school, I went through the whole like YouTube makeup guru phase for sure. But I grew out of that. Once I realized it was really hard to find really good makeup that matched my skin tone at the drugstore, I was just kind of like over it. I kind of just stopped caring. And then I got my job working at Rare Beauty like four days after I graduated college. I started working there. I had a bunch of free product and I remember just being like, let me shoot a cute little video in my car trying out this blush because I haven't seen this blush shade on people with my skin tone before. And you know, other people might be curious too. I've never tried this, like, let me just film it. And I have experience speaking in front of the camera i used to work at buzzfeed before that and i was a talent resident there so i'd be featured in videos we'd come up with video ideas with producers it was honestly such a cool learning experience especially because like i grew up watching buzzfeed videos so it was just a dream come true but after I left that job, finished up college, I was still in school when I was working there. So it was still just like, there was a lot going on. And as soon as I graduated, I was like, I don't really even know what I want to do. I had a degree, but I was like, I was not really sure. I had no clue that beauty was going to be where I ended up. I kind of just shot my shot on LinkedIn and got the job. Um, but I had worked, like I said, at BuzzFeed and I did have, have social media experience before I worked at Ever Beauty. So anyways, back to what I was saying about my video, I was like, let me just post this video and see what happens. And I posted it and it got like a million views. And I was like, oh, people care. And people are also interested. Um, at that time, people still didn't really know very much about me, but I did provide kind of like this educational value, trying out, you know, products that people were probably curious about in terms of like how it looked on me, whether they look like me or not, um, because color theory is so interesting and everything looks different on so many people. And when I worked at Rare Beauty, I realized I was working on the social side. So I was consuming a lot of like TikToks and social media. And I just was realizing that there were just not a whole lot of people that looked like me in that space. So I wanted to do something about it. And I did. Fast forward six months later, I was like, I want to do this full time. I had the means to do so. I had a lot of opportunities lined up already and a lot of brands that were willing and really wanting to work with me once I left and it was the best decision. It was the best decision I could have ever made for myself. This is a story time for a whole nother time. I might have touched on this in my first video, but my apartment caught on fire um around like before I took my job at Rare Beauty, so I was living in a hotel for 6 months. It was the craziest thing, but also one of the best things to happen to me financially because I didn't pay rent in LA for six months. I didn't pay for food. They gave us like a credit card for food. So for six months, the two biggest expenses as an adult, as an adult, food and rent, I didn't pay. And I was also doing really fun gigs. I'd worked with Nike. I did some paid media campaigns. So all of that money like wasn't really touched. So once I left my job, it really didn't feel like, oh my God, I'm like pulling this really scary trigger. It was like, I knew I'd be okay. And now I'm doing better than okay. So best choice I've ever made. Anyways, let's get into the blush, which is my favorite part. I layer a bunch of blushes, but we're starting off with liquid blushes today. These are small, but these are mighty. They're from Danessa Myricks. They're color fix. You can use these on your cheeks, your eyes, your lips. You can literally use these anywhere. Oh my God, it got really cloudy. I think it might rain soon. Oh my goodness. But I like to use these color fixes on 
my cheeks i like to use these as blushes because they last so long and a little bit goes such a long way so i think today we'll do pink i think we'll do a little bit of juvia's place as well this one's in the shade dahlia this one is much more pigmented than this but i like these colors together you really only need a little bit so i'm just gonna add this is in the shade valentine by the way like the teeniest tiniest dot but because I know I'm putting powder on top of this, I'm not too scared. This one's in the shade Dahlia. And then we just blend, blend her out. And I like the way these two colors look together. I think they are so beautiful. Stunning, beautiful, amazing. I like to set my under eye with a little pressed powder before loose powder. This is Pat McGrath under eye powder. It's in the shade Deep. I also really like the baby pink shade, but this one's been growing on me. I kind of go back and forth. I take a little baby powder puff and then I just kind of interesting about this pressed powder oh that was a lot is it's so finely milled that it's almost like a loose powder once you kind of tap into it but i'm just gonna pat it it blends out so beautifully these powders are divine like anything pat touches is gold and these are also flashback proof so if you're taking pictures with flash you don't have to worry about that weird flashback moment now it's time for some loose powder this is from huda beauty it's in the shade peach pie i'm almost out of it and what i've been doing recently is i i put it on the back of this mirror because the container is just not the best and i'm actually going to take a little bit taking a little bit of coffee cake peach pie is a lot lighter i'm just going to take a little bit tap that around and then i tap the excess and then i just want to have that underneath your eye depending on how long my makeup's gonna be on or how oily i'm feeling that depends on how much powder i add on it always looks a little crazy but again trust the process trust the process i get very oily around my t-zone i like to pack that powder on here i just like to let it sit for a second to really allow my oils to kind of get like sucked up then i take a little bit of my glowish bronzer this is also from huda beauty in the shade 05 and i take a little fluffy brush bk beauty 202 and i add a little bit of bronzer onto my lids it's like my everyday eyeshadow i have been playing around with eyeshadow looks recently i love the danessa myricks groundworks palette that one's one of my favorite to work with i just like to add this kind of messy underneath my eyes just for a little dimension and then i take a little and i add it along my nose as well kind of an extra bronzy moment still letting this sit i'm gonna go in with my current favorite mascara pat mcgrath this mascara is just absolutely stunning and i like to pack my mascara on i like to add a good amount of it but this i really don't need to pack it on too much because i feel like it adds so much volume with just a few swipes back to what i was saying i never really thought that working in beauty would ever be my job honestly truly i had no clue what i was going to really do after college i i mean i had a feeling that i'd work in like the entertainment space maybe social media maybe film but i had no idea beauty was going to be in my future it's definitely kind of fallen into my lap in a really interesting way which honestly i think is why i still find it so fun because i leaned into this space for fun i did it for fun like and i've always made videos i've always made content back when i was like nine i had a camera and i had a compact mini laptop and i would make and edit little videos for there was like at the time kids bop but it was like youtube for kids they deleted that but that was a thing i'm pretty sure that was not a fever dream and i would upload my videos onto kids bop because i was too young to have a youtube and that was like my grind is i would film like little challenge videos and then edit them on windows movie maker and like that's always just been what i've loved doing for fun i never thought that that would ever be a job for me but i'm literally doing the same thing now that i was doing back when i was nine which is very surreal very full circle every time i think about it I always think about that and i just think it's so wild and very serendipitous that this is my world now and i love it so much beautiful 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 now, honestly i don't really mind if it's even a little smudgy i like the makeup to look lived in i think it makes it look cooler taking my little powder puff and we're just gonna pat out pat 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 then i take my charlotte tilbury airbrush this is the best one of the best setting powders setting powders setting sprays i like to use this in between my makeup as well let this dry and then we'll go on top with the rest of my powders. All right, so once that is nice and dry, we're gonna add some warmth 
back into the face thankfully going in with my huda beauty bronzer i just add this wherever i had my bronzer before basically but i like to make it look like i just got back from vacation every single day if you follow me on tiktok you know that this is my all-time favorite powder blush it is in the shade night bloom and it's her duo and again i add it wherever i had my blush before and it's just the prettiest prettiest color on my skin tone and i just i really pack this on anytime i wear this blush i always get asked what blush i'm wearing as you can see that's a lot don't worry we're going back over with some powder so it'll tone it down but i love it while we're talking about blushes i want to give you a few of my recommendations before i top this off i love westman atelier it is really pricey but the quality is so good this one's in the shade poppet and it's so freaking beautiful and bright pink but it's not pale on my skin tone which is very rare because whenever a blush looks like this in the component i'm always a little weary because normally they look very ashy on my skin tone but this is so good and pat mcgrath also has a beautiful cream blush this one this one is in the shade forbidden fleur and this is her color bomb i'm gonna go back on top with my pat mcgrath sublime perfection under eye powder so i'm just gonna pat this one underneath my eye and it kind of diffuses the blush a little bit just a little bit not too much if i'm having a long day like today i really need this makeup to last me a good few hours i go in with my one size until dawn this is intense just very strong but it does get the job done which is why i like to use it i like powder puff whatever's left over this is the hourglass lighting palette volume three and i just add a teeny tiny bit to my nose to my brow bone a little extra glow i went out last night and i put my lip combo in my purse so i had to go retrieve it first step i go in with the huda beauty lip contour this is in the shade rich brown and it comes with a sharpener at the end but i dropped mine in my car cute then i go in with the shade nude venus this is from pat mcgrath and it's her satin allure so it's satin so it's not entirely glossy but it's also not entirely matte which is why i like it, it just goes on so smooth i go back in with my liner and kind of clean it up i take my house labs phd lip oil this one's in the shade secondary but it's not actually orange it is more clear but i just like to use this to line my lip combo i don't even put this one in the middle i just use it to line my lip combo and the reason i like doing that is because this lip oil is so glossy it lasts all day and then for the middle i'm using the house labs lip glaze as if you follow me on tiktok you know that this is my favorite lip launch of 2024 it's in the shade macaroon I had this on in the middle. It's just like a really pretty pink. Like, I love it. If I feel like my skin needs another refresh, I'll go in with my Charlotte Tilbury spray, but I feel like, I feel like we look pretty good. Okay, and this is my final everyday makeup routine. I feel like my makeup routine has truly grown and changed even within the past six months. Like looking back at what my makeup looked like six months ago versus now is just so wild. And this is perfect timing because my camera's about to die. But I hope you guys liked this video. I honestly enjoy just being able to sit and chat and not worry about time. But I do think it came out really, really good today. I feel like whenever I'm talking through that much, sometimes i just get distracted but i do think that this turned out very cute and it is my everyday kind of look thank you so much for watching we are going to coachella next week so i'm gonna start vlogging that i'm very very excited thank you for watching and i will see you next time